Can you see me? <laughs> I can see you. Can you yeah. actually? All right. But round one of top that. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's on me. <laughs> How's that for chugging? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, it's cold. That's, oh, it's oh cold. Yes. I can't top that. Yes, you're going to have to, mate. Top that, mate. Hashtag Yodo. You only die once. Hashtag Yodo. I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Come on. Oh! Oh, he's doing it. You gotta open it. You gotta open the side. Mm, mm. You gotta open it. Oh, it's all coming out. Oh, you're so bad at this. Oh, oh you're so bad. He's done it. He's done it. He's humping the cross. Oh, he's humping the cross. Okay. That's all right. It. Okay. Are you coming back in? Yeah, I'm coming back in. I need to shower because I think I'm gonna die of hypothermia. I thought I had something, but I don't. That's like shit. Shut up, okay? Shut up, because. It's your boy V to the I to the N to the C to the E, Vince. I'm here with my new episodes vlog series, Vince Vlogs Uncut. I just thought I'd come back 110% for you guys because that's what I make content for, just for you. I am taking a new creative direction with my channel. I'm not about top that, I'm not about doing pranks at the moment. I know some of you might not like that, so feel free to unsubscribe because that's not what I'm about anymore. I just thought I'd talk about life and what I've been doing for the past couple weeks. Had a bit of a day off today. Got my new car, by the way. Look at that. It's wicked, isn't it? I'm gonna call you guys the V Gang. That's gonna be your new name for the followers of me, Vince. Starting letter is V, so V Gang makes sense for you guys. Recently, I just sort of went, I'm gonna take a break, and I booked a holiday. I went to Disneyland, and it was fucking amazing. It was so good. But also, I'm not really been feeling really good because I'm actually um, depressed. Just thought I would get in my car and I drive out to one of my places to sort of keep the depression at bay. I'm just going to head out. I'm going to show you to one of my favourite vistas. Without further ado, let's go to the destination. <sighs> you are you. No one else is you. You are the best version of you. Ah. Oh. Ah, good day to you squires. Hope you're doing well. Hope the world is pleased with you and you are pleased with the world. I'm feeling really good, feeling really grounded actually, feeling really um, at one with myself and, and at peace. The most anyone can ask for. I was doing a bunch of exercises there which I use to ground me. Expand, release. You are you, no one else is you. You are the best version of you. Mm, peace. You are you. You are you. Inner peace. Ground. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Ooh. I've done Buddhism. Just been to a retreat in India. That's why I'm so tanned. Highly recommend it to anyone. You really get a sense that um, you're not alone. I'm currently grieving. I've been through a divorce, not been easy as quiet, it's been really tough. The muscles, particularly this muscle. We have parked the car, and we're heading over here to one of my favourite spots. I think taking a break into a green space is actually a very healthy thing to do. There's so much oxygen in the grass, I'm getting like double the oxygen that I would normally get in the city. Every morning, what I do is I open the window and I, I smell the air to see what kind of day it is. So every day now, I do, uh, I do a routine where I do a bunch of exercises. I do semi supine, I do child's pose, and I do a plank. I just feel so alive and dead at the same time. Five, six, seven, 
<sighs> it's like being born again, yet also like being buried alive. I'm experiencing torture and meditation at the same time. Oh, oh. If you think that I'm gonna be doing pranks in this channel, you can think again, because that is in the past. The past is prank, the future is plank. Green spaces are always good because you don't know what you're gonna get. Like you might see wood and, you know, this is actually quite funny. That, that log there, just sitting, just out in the air, like it's really kind of setting off my OCD a bit. So I just thought I'd just put that to one side. Also, my blood is pumping because I'm moving as well. So I'm actually getting really fit, just, just from walking, which is great. I was also doing my mantra there. I like to repeat it to myself about 10 or 11 times a day. You are you, uh, no one else is you, and you are the best version of you. And I feel like it's quite accurate. It's uh, something to live your life by, that you are enough. You are the best version of you. No one else can be you. Look at me, okay? Do you think anyone else can do this? No. So that is one of the ideas I'll be sharing with you in my new channel, Philosophy, or as I like to call it, percy -losophy. I had a glass of orange juice today and some yogurt. Make sure you have a balanced diet of fats, carbohydrates, um, sugars, proteins, and you don't have to get proteins from meat, you can actually get them from nuts. That's a Vince fact for you. So I've been thinking about towels, what they represent, what they mean. I feel like towels are something that I've been wanting to talk about. I'm wondering whether we need them in our lives. We've always used one and we've never questioned it and we've always hung around with it. And now I'm thinking, hmm, do I, do I really need it in my life? I think that's quite relevant. It's so liberating to be able to do what I love. I usually go here when I'm a bit depressed. I always feel like a, a good look of a view and a good intake of oxygen is good for my depression. That's the best course of recovery for me. When I get the, a small little spell, I just, you know, I just go out, breathe in the air, it's sorted. I'm sorted for the, for the rest of the week. Probably top it up next week or whatever, just sort of to keep it at bay. This is a small towel, has limited function. This is a big towel. This is the towel we use to caress and uh, to absorb the damp. I'm just going to compare the two towels. So right here we have, we have the small towel. It's small in size, intellect, and to be honest, has been, has been bringing the larger towel down. So guess what, Squires? I'm going to chuck the small towel away because it's meaningless. It's devoid of meaning. In fact, it's kind of doing disservice to the idea of meaning. It's just always been there, and I don't know why. It still wants to, to play pranks, and it still wants to do things to me, and I'm not going to let it. So yeah, that's probably kept it at bay a bit. I just sort of soaked in the atmosphere. I recommend it to you guys if you have a great vista that you can look at. Lots of green and blues, because it's really good for getting you in a good creative mind space. Mind space, not my space. So anyway, YouTube, that has been the first ever episode of Vince Vlogs uncut be sure to catch me on twitter be sure to catch me on youtube be sure to catch me on insta and i'll see you all soon but this right now squires it's being chucked and don't even try and come back to my life little town I've done enough and i don't want to spread my might on my genitals anymore that's my lesson for today squires keep safe keep grounded keep peaceful <laughs>